Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I think we're gonna mow some my lawn here because it is getting pretty tall as well as possibly do some stuff for Grant depending on what he needs done today. But uh, we're gonna run out here and I think we gotta move some equipment first. Probably the, uh, seven, is that the 7R or the 8R? I can't tell from here. I think it's 7R, yeah. Yeah, it's 7R. So we're probably gonna move the 7R at some point and uh, we gotta move all this equipment so we can mow around that. So uh, we're going to get our Kubota out here because this tractor that we use to mow. Personally, one of my favorite tractors. I wish there was more Kubotas in Farm Sim, but uh, unfortunately there's not. So this is kind of what we got to work with. But actually, we're going to start at the horse pasture first uh, where Gus is so we can uh, just mow around his, uh, his place there. That way it's uh, all nice and clean around there. So uh, the other day we ended up seeding this and uh, it's all fertilized still so we don't need to be fertilizing it anytime soon. I think we're actually going to mow along this fence back here depending on uh, what happens. But we're for sure going to be mowing along here. So to drop this down and we're going to get going on here. It actually shouldn't take very long because it's not a very huge place. Can only go seven miles an hour though which is kind of unfortunate but so I'm thinking I'll just go along back here kind of get along the fence here because you can go backwards with this mower that's the great feature about this mower that I love is you can just go backwards with it and it still works amazing all right so that much is done here I'm just gonna kind of mow along here that way it keeps this edge all nice and clean as well as we're probably gonna have to move the water trailer because that's kind of in the way a little bit of uh, where we need to mow actually we might just be able to get around that so apparently there's a little land glitch here that tells me that I don't own this land, so I guess we can't mow that, which is kind of unfortunate. I'll try to get that fixed so we actually can mow that. It's just an unfortunate little land glitch that uh, allows us to not mow that. But I think we're going to take a pass down here and around our fence, that way it keeps it all nice and clean, like it should be. Alright, so we got most of this done here, I'm just taking the last pass just around this fence here, that way it looks all nice and clean back up here kind of get along this fence back up to this tree and there we go I'm gonna call that good and then we're gonna go over to in our main yard and we're gonna start mowing that and we're gonna actually have to end up moving some equipment depending if we can get this mow if we can get all this mowed over here then we'll uh, go move some equipment and stuff that way we have a nice mode place to take it but I'll just get along the trees here and Tree branches always hurt every single time, so I gotta kinda stay out of the way of them. So since there's an auction sale possibly coming up, I was thinking of selling that rototiller as well, because we never used it. I thought we were gonna use it for a project, turns out we never are, so. I might end up getting rid of that one. Alright, turn around here. Take another pass down here. Actually, it doesn't take very long with this mower, because it has it's quite actually big. It would be a lot shorter... They'd be like a lot longer if you had a, a ride-on mower or something because they have a lot less of a workspace than uh, one of these. All right, so I'm going to have to move this demo here at some point. I'm um, thinking just as soon as I get down here a little bit mo. Actually, I'd probably move that onto the road, if anything. That way it'll just be completely out of the way there. Yeah, I'll actually do that. I'm just going to shut this off here. I'll shut my tractor off for now. And uh, we're going to jump in this 7R and we're going to move it. Just so it's nice and out of the way and we don't have to worry about it. Probably just move it right over here. Should be about good. Buck's supposed to come pick this thing up today, so... I don't know about today. He might not come today. But I guess we'll see. Alright. Start it back up. Get back mowing here. Alright, we're just going to get around this uh, windmill here. That way it's all nice and clean around here. Hopefully I don't hit nothing. Don't hit a tree. It's not very... Uh, good for the tractor it would uh, do some damage that's for sure all right uh, actually I gotta go take one more kind of pass around by the tree there clean that up a little more and there we go I'm gonna call that good man I need, this thing's already getting dirty I might need to give it a wash it seemed to get pretty dirty when you start mowing all right so I think we're on the last pass for this and then after this chunk is done here I think we're gonna grab our Dodge or our Ford and then move those trailers out of the way uh, move that hay bottom out of the way and a couple of things just so we can get in there and mow all that all right there we go that's done 
So we're just going to pull this thing out of the way here, and uh, that way I can move some other equipment. All right, there we go. Shut this off. Jump in our demo 7R. And uh, move this out of the way. All right, there we go. I think I'm going to call that good. Shut her off here, and we're just going to jump out and get her dodge. Now, here's the issue with the dodge right now. It's getting high on miles. We've used it a lot. The bed's getting beat up. The trucks itself is really beat up, so... I might trade it in depending on what happens. I'm thinking about trading it in. It might be a good option. I don't know. Alright, we'll just back up here to our gooseneck. I think this is actually Jake's gooseneck, but uh, he has mine at the moment, so I'm not very worried about it. Alright, there we go. Just pull it right on out of the way. Alright, that should be good right there. We'll just drop it right there. Oh, going to reverse. Not a good idea. And then we're going to grab our horse trailer and then that little small trailer. And then the haybine, which I'll probably, I don't know, I'll just grab our 4020 for that one. Back on up to this. Just about, almost, yep, there we go. We haven't had to actually use this thing other than to transport gunner the one time, so. I don't know, we might get rid of that one too, because I know Jake has a trailer now, so. I'm not very worried about it. There we go. Now, I could probably use the ATV to move that really small trailer, but I think I'll just use the truck. Since I don't really feel like getting the ATV out right now. Alright, just about there. There we go. Alright, we'll just get this thing pulled right on out of the way. I think it's actually dragging, almost. I guess we'll get out and check here. It's pretty much almost dragging. It's very close. Actually, I wonder if I... No, we'll just go grab the 4020. Alright, we got the 4020 here. We're just gonna back on up to this Haybon here and get her hooked up. Get it moved on out of the way. I don't even know why we bought this thing in the first place. I guess we did cut a lot of Jake's hay with it and some of mine, so... I guess I could have just rented one, technically. Might have been cheaper, who knows. Alright, and that should be good right there. It'll just be out of the way enough, so we're not going to have to worry about it. Jump back in our Kubota here. Get her fired up, and I think I'm going to actually mow that little middle part there. That way that's done. Drop her down here, turn her on. There we go. All right, now that that's done, we can move on to this middle section here and get this all mowed so we can uh, put our equipment back. And that way, that's off that section of the lawn there. All right, I got the outside passes done. Uh, I actually went around that shed and then that shed. That way, that's all done. And then this part and then a little bit over there and then just by the house there and we're done already. We don't have a very huge yard to mow, but... It still takes a little while. Sheesh, we almost have too much equipment for this yard. Not quite. We still have a lot of room. We haven't even filled up our one red shed there, but I guess I could if I wanted to, but I don't really see the point. All right, so we got over there done. I'm just taking the last couple of rounds around this one. The grass is actually fairly tall for uh, how long we left it. Good growing season this year, I guess. That should mean our corn is hopefully going to do good, but I guess we'll see. All right, so we got that chunk done. Now, uh, we're just going to work on the biggest piece, which is the house piece here. This one usually takes the longest and is a bit of a pain to do because you got to weave behind all those trees back there, but it's still not terribly hard. It just takes a lot of time. I'm going to keep out of the way of these tree branches here, even though I'm still kind of hitting them. Scratch up the tractor. It's not very great. Actually, never mind. I was wrong. We have that little chunk over there, but that's still technically connected to the house piece, but... Technically, it's not. It would be dope is one of those grasshopper mowers. Those things are sweet. We have one in real life. It's awesome. They're like a beast. They will pretty much cut any grass that you throw its way. All right, so I think we're getting close to half here. But if you guys are enjoying the series, please do drop a like. It really helps with the video, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And it can, lets me uh, keep doing the series that I enjoy doing. Alright, so we got one last little chunk here, and we finished this part. Now, I think... Actually, no, we're not going to move the equipment just yet. I just want to get the last part done there. Ah, oh, I missed a little chunk. Come here. Turn. Did I get... No. Ah. Let's back up. I still didn't get it. Ah. Come on. Okay, now we got it. There we go. We got it now. But we're going to go over to this other part here, and uh, we're going to get this cut. And then, well, we got to go around all those trees, which is kind of unfortunate. But it's uh, 
has to be done. And then I think we're going to put all the equipment away. And then as far as I know, Grant wants to meet up for lunch. Uh, I'll have to call him here and see, uh, see what his plans are. Uh, he did text me this morning. But I'll just end up calling him and uh, see what's going on here. Alright, so we finished up all this here. Uh, I'm just getting the last piece here. And then we can put all our equipment away. And then that can be done. Alright. There we go. That's finally done. That took a little while. But it was very worth it. Because now we have a completely mowed lawn, and it looks really good. So I'm just going to give this actually a quick bath, just so we can uh, put this away, and it's all nice and clean. Just pull up here. Actually, I can shut it off. It's probably going to be a wise idea to shut it off. Just give her a quick wash. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Don't put away dirty equipment. It's not the greatest for it. Especially if it's an open cab. I don't know how all the dirt got in there. That's seems a little seems like somebody is screwed up on the dirt map and huh buck huh huh you guys didn't know buck made this mod so i'm just bothering him all right just about clean he's got a little bit of dirt there left yep there we go that's done we can stick this in the shop where it belongs all right right about there i'm gonna call that good yep there we go and uh, we're gonna go get our 4020 here. I think it's 4020. Is it 4020? It's 4020. Okay, never mind. I thought it wasn't a 4020 there for a minute. And uh, we're going to go park our Havon here. All right, back this thing on up here. We actually want it as close to the shop or the Quonset, I guess, as we can. Just so we can keep it all nice and organized. We can actually fit everything in there without having to squeeze it up. Right about yeah, I'm going to call that kid right there. And then I'll just take this and I'll pull it right into the shed there. Because we don't really need that by the whore, by gunner right now. Yeah, we're going to call that kid right there. Shut her off and shut the doors. Nope, oh, shut the doors. There we go. And uh, we're going to take the Dodge here and we're going to put the trailers back. All right, grab the horse trailer here. I'm just going to hook on up to it. I didn't really back up straight, but oh well. Then we can take that, and we can put that right beside the hayline. All right, there we go. I'm going to call that good, and then we can go grab the gooseneck. All right, there we go. Unhook it there, and head back up to the house. Oh, someone's calling me. Let's see who it is. Hello? Hey, what's up, Austin? Oh, nothing much. How about you? Not much. Just uh, petting the kitties. All right. What's up? Uh, you want to get some lunch? Uh, it's closer to supper. Maybe supper would work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'd be down for supper. I uh, guess I didn't eat lunch, but yeah, 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 I'd be down for supper. All right. It's been a busy day. Yeah, same, same. All right. Same place? Same place as always? Same place. I right. I'm down. I'll see you there. See you there? All right, so I guess we can just leave the truck out here. I got to go grab some things inside, and then, uh... We'll head over there. All right, so I'm just pulling out here. Uh, I'm going to have some supper with Grant. And, uh, yeah. So, we had a pretty good day here. Um, I'd say it's pretty decent. We got a lot done. I think we're going to go down to the steakhouse and uh, get me a nice, juicy steak. Man, this Dodge, it needs replacing. Huh, interesting. I tried calling Grant, and he didn't pick up. Hmm, he should be at the steakhouse there. This crop's really starting to grow up there. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh man. Oh. I need I need to call 911. Oh. Well guys, thanks for watching. I'm leaving this on a cliffhanger. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.